NPLRD Network. Miami, the home ballpark of the great Sandy Alcantara, who's going to make his World Baseball Classic debut tonight, a game against Venezuela that features some of the great stars in the game. It's hard hit, base hit. This is the first hitter of the first game of this tournament for these two teams. Listen to this place. This pitch out to left center field. Very well hit, and it's going to bounce off the wall. Rodriguez flying around third, and he's going to come in to score the first run of the game. What a start for the Domaney. Using the left center gap at all times when he's at his best. In between Rodriguez and Soto, rise to second. He'll stop there. So that's two hits among the first three hitters for Venezuela against the great Sandy Alcantara. A chance for Venezuela to tie the game up with a base hit. Salvador Perez. Using the aggressiveness. Anthony Santander, no surprise to the long ball. 33 home runs in 2022. Well, he has just come up in the biggest of stage in his young career. Draws the walk. That moves Candelario to second. And it'll bring up Juan Soto with two on and two out. Soto is about. No panic from Jose Altuve. Game still. Right drive base hit to right field. One run is in. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. Two runs score. Venezuela. David Peralta. What an at bat. They lead three to one. When we thought he. I think he knows your teammates. It has been said that it's a lot harder to throw to your teammates, especially in situations like this. Altuve draws the walk. In a moment like this with bases loaded, I know Ronald Acuna Jr. has been thinking. Peralta is going to stop. A run is scored. Peralta will be tagged out, but it's another run batted in for David Peralta, and that puts Venezuela ahead 4-1. to one. What a game he's having. Eves to center field. Rodriguez with room, and that's out number three. Dominican Republic running out of outs. They need to get to He wanted the ball hit to him. One, two. Got it with the fastball. Just rip it off. More frustration for the Dominican. More celebration for Vendry. Pass the reach of Franco. In the right center field. It's another run for Venezuela. What an out. From an historic, massive win against the Dominican Republic. We go to the ninth inning, and they'll give the ball to the. Big pitch right there. I think to Oscar Hernandez a little bit in between. Nonetheless, Alvarado just absolutely dotted that pitch. Venezuela team that contributed to a 5-1 victory. Over the yeah, the wait is over here in Miami. A nervous energy all around the ballpark, including in the dugouts as we get ready to start Pool D in Miami with our first game of the day. Welcome to the World Baseball Classic at Lone Depot Park in Miami. We go a pitcher who pitched for Team USA in the last WBC. Now his mom's home country Puerto Rico Marcus Stroman. Francisco Lindor who throws out Montes who's got good speed for out number one. Now toward the middle and through. So Lindor starts off the World Baseball Classic with a hit. Rare the cleanup hitter for Puerto Rico. First and third. One out on the ground. His pitch made his pitch. Got the throw, the tag, got him at second. Oh, machete, machete. Simon with Elia Mirandas. You let a lesser team hang. But sharply, and it gets through first. It looks one. It's going to get down center field. Maldonado is in. Right behind him, Lindor. He'll score. What a moment for MJ Melendez. This bounces one and nobody's there. That one gets through. Melendez will score. Six to one. Oh, you give a big team like this outs. They're going to hurt you at, at all times. Even the pitch sweepings right there by Baez. They've been eating them up all game with sliders. Basically the first foul. One, the throw back to first. Got him double play. So that time they do turn the ground to third and it goes right through Colbert. That'll score a run. And the defense have problem him nine to one, Puerto Rico. Well, he's at professional at bats all day long. Christian Vax has used the whole and very good big leaguer. Emilio Pagan's gonna try to get the final three outs for Puerto Rico. A close, tight game in the middle innings has turned into a 9-1 lead for Pagan's Puerto Rican team. Right back gets its first win in what it hopes will be a run to a championship in the World Baseball Classic. A long way to go, but a very Pez. 
has himself yet another knock. He just continues to barrel up balls. See those four ranked prospects from MLB Pipeline, and one of them will receive a flip and retire. Another talented young hitter, that's Brett Sullivan, and that'll retire the side as well here in the first. A man left on on each side. On the ground, up the middle. And Matt Harvey, right effort. 60 pitches through four strong innings, and three up, three down goes the Netherlands for the first time in the fourth. We're going to the bottom of four. Throws the hands up. It's a leadoff ground rule double for Dominic Fletcher. Out past Bogarts and down in center. A big pump of the fist to the first base dugout from Brett Sullivan, who has driven in the game tying run in the fourth. All of a sudden, Team Italy. Those good vibes are back. Stringing some hits together. And for the first time tonight, Italy's out in front. Third, three runs home for Italy. This guy and a 4-1 lead in the fourth. And Bolsenbrook just does have, doesn't have any answers for these Italian hitters. So now it's another turn for Nicky Lopez, who has turned into an A shy of his 28th birthday. He's absolutely on fire when it counts. Huge strikeout. Jonathan Scope frustrated knowing the severity of that at bat. Oh, it goes. Like this doesn't matter to these guys. 90 miles per hour. Good pitch. Is three outs away from cleaning this thing up on a Sunday evening. Around third and into score is John Valenti, the pinch runner. A six run lead for the Italians who may be steamrolling their way toward Tokyo. Two gone. Doesn't get any easier. Either Dominic Fletcher coming to the plate. One, two. Shot down by Mike Piazza and Team Italy. The reaction from the guys in blue, the Azzurri, is any indication they believe they are off to Tokyo. Cuba was the other team that looked to be in very good position. And look at that reaction as they look at the unofficial calculations on the video board in left field. And Mike Piazza in on field level, a boisterous crowd expected. 40,000 fans in the building tonight. Rich, it's one of the largest crowds ever to watch Team USA. For Wainwright, the decision to play here was a real easy one. They never played before, he said, because they never asked me. He got an opportunity this year at 41 years old, and he stepped up quickly. Now, this is a guy who has played in the big leagues. And his last stop in the big leagues was sitting on curveball, and he got it and hit it out of the ballpark. Got great speed. Seymour gets the out, barely, and the bat. That is a fair ball over the bag and into real Muto. Nope. Gets through the second. Excellent work by the 35. Great Britain threatens the leadoff double by Trace Thompson, though stranded at third. That's a fair ball and into the corner. And Team USA is going to get a run out of this. Goldschmidt scores. Jay Murray down the left field line. A terrific effort by Vance Worley. Mark DeRosa managing for the very first time Team USA. And Wayne Wright. Looks like he's done. Shaking hands, talking to his teammates on the bench. Uh, he's probably. That ball to the left pulled down the line and it's going to get down for a hit. Into the corner it goes. Goldschmidt racing for third. They're going to send him. He had stopped, but he's going to score easily. And Arenado has his third hit. Nope, go ahead. He dropped it. For a great Britain in every. With a triple. How's that for a little confidence and a little cup of tea? And look at the speed. Knowles checks his third base coach. Says, come on over here. And he's in there with a head first slide. Now, Anthony Seymour, the switch hitter, the second baseman. She looked at home. He was thinking about trying to cut the runoff at home, but I think. Well done in your first World Baseball Classic. Fly ball, right center field. Hoop will run it down. Oh, he dropped it. Taking off for third is Park. An unforced error by the shoulder, and he lines a base hit into center field. Korea scores first in the first. One nothing. If they provide the opportunity early. You go Going the other way is Park into right field for a base hit. We will. Tommy Edmond drives in a pair. Tommy Hyun Su Edmond, his official introduction. Take three from Seung Park. That's his third. Park, say less. He strikes out the side in the second.
That's five of six. Ha Sung Kim ends an 0 for 8 start at the World Republic. You're introduced to the new arm. Jeffrey Barto will come out of the And Jeffrey Barto induced. As Chervenka has for the Czech Republic, he laces one into the corner in left field. The veteran backstop will stand up with a double to lead off the fifth. First hit of the ball game for the Czech Republic. Gets men chic for the second time. Looking breaking ball, deep in those shoulders, and <laughs> that <laughs> strikes out as to two one pulled into left field. What a grab! No, it gets down. It gets down and tall. Hyunsu Kim Do could not come up with it. Ploop waved around third. The Czech Republic within four. Risky play. Nonetheless, what matters more here is they're back in the game and. It took just a the Czech Republic and he has the ability to turn on stuff as we've seen throughout this tournament and is loaded for Martin Chervenka. Wong Jun Kim it's a pat on the back from Kung Chu Lee base is loaded for miss or another comeback bounces away from Yang one runs and strikeout number two here in the ninth inning for Lee Lee stri strikeout for Korean pitching and Team Korea with a 7-3 win over the Czech Republic, still alive in Paredes. Julio Urias, a nice, tidy 1-2-3 first. Bottom of the first in Phoenix. Randy Orozarena works out of trouble. The leadoff double by Orozarena. Full of strides and jumps and fires a high throw. One of the best third basemen in all. The out. Julio Urias is cooking with a low pitch count in a scoreless game. Throw to the plate. Safe. Mexico a 1-0 lead. On the outside, had that been online right over the plate, it was going to be bang, bang. Good slide. Does hit it hard. Down the line. Into the corner. Alfaro will score. Colombia has tied it. Elias Diaz. 51 RBIs last year for the Rockies, and he comes up with a two-run shot from perfect game to three runs. The MVP of the Caribbean Series in 2022. It's tied. First base was open. Though Romero got in front of him right away, 0-2. And the, the home run sombrero. And a 3-3 game. Might be two. Frias. Diaz got the double play. And Colombia gets out of the inning. Basement over to Rodriguez to end the inning and strand the base. Runs. They shifted Verdugo, but not that extreme down to this. All of the back and forth. Mexico taking a lead, Colombia reclaiming it, losing it. Now in extras, Mexico's down to their last out. Zuniga, runner goes, pitch is taken, throw it. And I'm almost surprised that, that Diaz even threw the ball. Tying run is at third. Bottom 10. All game, Colombia does it. He threw the slider. And with a breaking ball, and what a game. Huge win for Columbia. We mentioned how close they were advancing in 2017. Now they've got a leg up, at least on Mexico. Number one, as Leyva's able to get back from that 2-1 count and earn his first K of the out. And there is one as Elian Leva puts a kink into that line. He's got three strikeouts in the first inning. Chinese Taipei struck out four times all night last night. It'll plate Moncada, it will score Robert. It is a two run double and Cuba is out of the board first, a two nothing lead. You know what, Tyler? We spent so much time against a team that struck out six combined times in its previous two games. Deep to right, Yoan Moncada leaving the yard. He missed the fastball before in the 3-1 count. Vance, he leaves in 45 pitches. Right. So that's one day of rest, not the four days of rest, which would have wiped him out for any appearance in Tokyo. So you talk about some of the little things that changed the momentum. And this ball just kept drifting, drifting. Su Wei Ling getting up on that wall. Out number one. Clubs this one into the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a leadoff extra base knock. Hacking and lines one into left field, a base hit. He's going to have another RBI if Drake can find his way to the plate, which he does. And Cuba makes it a 7-0 lead in the fourth inning. Out to second. And he will. Ten straight sat down by Cuba's dominant pitching staff. To Yuan Makata, 
wraps up the top half of this frame. Kubel trying to add to a seven run lead. Going to the bottom of the eighth, inside jump. Board, Winch and Wong around third. Yu Chang, the secretary of defense, comes through again to get his team its first run. Has that heartbeat about in big moments? Yes, they're down seven. On the ground a second, knocked down there, and the throw to first is in time. And Cuba explodes out of the first base dugout. 7-1 winners to wrap up their pool A stay in. NPLRD Network presentó. NPLRD Network, la plataforma de proyección y manejo de los nuevos prospectos y futuras estrellas del béisbol. Suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube, NPLRD Network Off. Síguenos en todas las redes sociales, NPLRD Network Off.